Pokemon Go is turning the streets into wild Pokemon habitats and regular people into Pokemon catching fanatics who readily engage in gang warfare. We came down to the O2 Centre to see the very first UK Pokemon Law party. Fans with the cooperation of the O2 are dropping lures so that Pokemon rush in and hopefully other Pokemon fans do as well. Uh, we just caught some high level Venomats um, inside the O2, um, a couple of EVs, um, and there's a high level Drazzy just over there. What are you doing? Just, o just, just over there? Just. Can you hold this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Pidgeys, Rattatas, Spearows. Yeah, Shelder, Sheldon. A Porygon. Which was just over there. What, what, I what are you looking for? Oh, I really want a Blastoise. How has Pokemon changed your day to day life? Um, I take a bit longer to get to uni. I bring it up whenever I've got a little bit of time and uh, make sure like I've got all my lures, all my Pokemon pulls, and every Pokemon stop I pass by, I have to stay a little bit longer. That's why I give myself a bit more longer in the morning. I'm, a lot, I'm out a lot more now, so I suppose I'm more willing to go out and walk around and meet new people. It's better. Do you guys think it's helping you exercise more? Oh yes it does. Yes. How do you think Pokemon Go has affected your life? Definitely exercise more. Definitely. <laughs> a lot of walking, yeah. A lot it's more. infested my house, it's my parents at home. Well, I'm getting more exercise, mm -hmm. meeting new people. How many hours a day do you think you spend playing Pokemon Go? Like an hour or two, depending. Oh, more than that for me. Like, <laughs> I, I don't do anything else, so I, I just like sit, I just have it open at home, then um, Every now and then a friend will message me saying, hey, you're free to do something? I was like, you want Pokemon? He was like, yeah, <laughs> just drive around for a bit. On Wednesday, um, I met up with my friend after going to the gym. My phone needed charging, so I charged it. It started actually going out for a walk at 9pm. And then we bumped into some people at Leicester Square, like, oh, Vala, Vala. And then Matt met like three random people. Decided to group together and go walk towards Waterloo to find Squirtle. Two hours later, ended up at Westminster and I was like, I need to go home now. <laughs> Genuinely anything that comes up. <laughs> lots and lots of magic arts. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, <laughs> and Rattatas. Need those 400 candies. Uh, Find that, a Lapras would be nice. Pikachu. Pikachu? Yeah, that's all I want. Not seen one, no. Pikachu, probably. But the thing I'm a quest for is magic cards. We need 400 to evolve. But how many have you got already? Uh, I've got about 100 candies already. You need 400 candies to evolve. Do you know anyone who's evolved a magic card? Not that I know of. I think some YouTubers have, but I, I haven't found any. Fucking YouTubers, man. When did you download the app? Uh, last week when it was released in New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand? Yeah. So that was the first place it came out, which meant you guys, you're bootlegging. Do you feel guilty about that? No. no. Honestly, Worth to be it. honest, they did say they're not gonna, they're not gonna like judge anyone. So. There were rumours that everyone's gonna have their account banned. What do you? Yeah, think? there was rumours, but they said they won't do it. It's publicity is publicity. That's what they said. So um, we got it just after it came out in the states, so we used New Zealand to get it. So all right, so you change, you changed the locale of your yeah. your store. We probably got it about two days before the UK did. So how do you feel about being bootleggers? Are you okay with that? How do you think Professor Willow <laughs> would feel? He'd be proud. Do you respect the will of Willow? We respect it. Officially released on Friday, so that means you must have had to go through some some back, some kind of international ways to get it. Sure. It's not work. So Pokemon goes down. Yeah. What are you going to do with all this time? Sit and chat. Sit and chat. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's let's chat. But now that it's down, the service is down. What are you going to do with your time? And then find something else to do or go home. So not even 20 minutes into the day, all the servers started crashing and we're not quite sure whether that's localised to this area or it's just all over the UK. Um, so what you've got is just a bunch of Pokemon fans not playing Pokemon, but all actually talking to each other and uh, making new friends and talking to us. And it's quite moving. Also, one other problem, uh, there seems to be an MMA combat expo going on at the same time. So we've got two groups of people, Pokemon fans, you know, kind of a nerdy type, pretty friendly, and very, very angry, fighty people. And when you see them standing in groups, I'm a bit worried about which I've chosen to approach. But Hugh Langley here, Pokemon Go expert from the site techradar.biz. I believe they rolled out to 16 other countries today, so I think that might be why. Every time that happens, it seems to be like, it slows it down a bit because loads more people jump on. So also probably just because of the weekend, lots of people playing it. I tend to find like in the evenings, the servers go down um, as people finish work and start playing it more. Do you think all the publicity Pokemon Go is getting is warranted? It's kind of half good and half bad. Cause it's well, how do you mean? Like, like some parents and grandparents, like my parents don't really agree with that honestly. 
like so in my opinion I think it's quite good because it gets uh, some of the kids who might, might stay inside yeah, yeah. Like, like, how do you think Pokemon Go has changed your life for the better or for the worse worse why, why worse because like I'm just obsessed with it now no, like, it's, it's true it's a good thing to be obsessed with exercise and obsessed with meeting people I don't really meet people I just go out and at late times of the night to try and take over gym so when we say late times at night how late have you been staying up? Like 1am. 1am? Yeah. We keep bumping into people, especially I'm from the city of Oxford, especially just walking around seeing people play it and they just shout out to them. They're all nice, they're all happy to talk to them. Hypothetical, you, you meet a girl at a bar, you're taking her home, it's, it's going quite well, you've met her, you're about to get in a cab, suddenly CP300 Snorlax vibrates on your phone, it's around the corner. W what do you do? Do you go with the girl or do you run away and catch Snorlax? <laughs> You can like just tap on the store like, so it'll, like, it'll <laughs> yeah, be there anyway, enough. so I can do both at the same time. But not like that, double double hand and double fist in it. <laughs> 300 Snorlax, that's not good. Is that not good? No, 1,000. I, <laughs> I didn't, oh man. Alright, um, so... <laughs> Wouldn't be the girl. <laughs> well, I'm that girl, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, I'm level 4, which means in one level's time I'm going to have to make a choice. Yeah. Team Mystic. Team Mystic. <laughs> team Mystic all the way. All the way. Yeah. Guys, do you play Pokemon Go? What team are you? Come in, come in, come in. So these guys, these guys are Team Mystic. Yeah. Your, your Team Valor. I, I'm not trying to incite violence yeah, here, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> you guys got to sell me on Team Mystic, and then you got to sell me on Team Valor. Why should I join Team Mystic? Our first? community is much bigger, and uh, like we own more gyms. And, um, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, no, no, no. There is more of us country it's, 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 widespread. Honestly, it's more about like the intelligence and like catching Ooh, Pokemon and trying to learn. I'm gonna have to let Valor I'm gonna have to let Valor post. Post. I'm gonna have to let Valor post. Fifty percent of players were blue. That's because they're the only ones that aren't playing the game. They're just sitting there on Twitter Ooh. commenting about it. It is in human physiology that people usually go for the middles, middle section. Team Mystic so, in the middle. Team Mystic in the middle. Uh, Interesting. So are you Mystic. all are you all Team Valor? Mystic. Yeah. Valor. Wait, wait. So you got come in. Uh, Mystic. So you're Valor. Mystic. Valor. Valor. While London's first Pokemon lure party was plagued with server issues, that doesn't mean it was a failure. Hundreds of people came here today to connect over one shared goal, and in doing so, they realised it was okay to express their fandom in public. Pokemon trainers came here to catch 400 Magikarp or a Dratini, but what they ended up catching was themselves.